My name is Warren Sharp and I'm the Site Asset Manager at Alcoa's Anglesey Site. We'd like to acknowledge the traditional owners of these lands, the Wadawurrung people, and pay our respects to their elders past, present and emerging. There's no doubt that 2020 has been an extraordinary year in many ways, both personally and for businesses. But despite the challenges, I'm pleased to share with you that we've managed to achieve a great deal in terms of the rehabilitation of the Anglesey Mine Site. In line with our approved work plan variation for progressive mine rehabilitation works to ensure safe, stable and sustainable landforms, and of course consistent with the variety of COVID-19 restrictions throughout the year, my team, with the support of a variety of consultants and contractors, have reached two major milestones, including the completion of the major mine earthworks and also the revegetation strategy as part of the overall mine rehabilitation program. Unfortunately, we still can't invite you to site to see these works for yourselves. We've had the drone up and the cameras out in an effort to show you the works that we've completed. A key rehabilitation activity has been the reprofiling of the southern and western mine slopes to be safe, stable and sustainable. Completed in June after almost two years of earthworks, more than 7 million metric tonnes of material, or the equivalent of two MCGs, were moved around the mine. This includes the reprofiling of the upper slopes for the revegetation the shallow water zone at the future water body level and the lower slopes providing a safe and stable foundation for the earthworks. On the western slope, the native heathy woodland topsoil rehabilitation completed last year is progressing well. We know from experience this will take some time. On the southern slopes of the mine, we've completed 53 hectares of a native wallaby grass seed mix hydro seeding. The grass is quickly establishing as expected and a weeding program has already commenced to remove non-native species. Additionally, nine engineered surface water drains extending from the mine's crest to the water body are being installed, with six already in place. As part of the reprofiling of the mine's south wall, we constructed a new section of Coal Mine Road, a new corner to integrate Coal Mine Road and Messmate Track, with a new section approximately 1.2 kilometres long, sealed to meet current standards. The future management of the road will be with the Surf Coast Shire. We have also seen progress in our mine water filling strategy for both the Anglesey Mine Rehabilitation and Closure Plan and the Eden Project Anglesey concept. To further investigate using groundwater and to commence the initial filling process, we recently received approval from Southern Raw Water to conduct a 12 month groundwater pumping test. The pumping tests will provide the technical basis to establish if a sustainable pumping rate can be determined and also ensure that there is no long term environmental impacts. The test will include extensive monitoring and monthly reporting to all key stakeholders and of course the community. As you can see, we've made major progress on the mine rehabilitation throughout the year and we're really proud of our work. I'd like to take the chance to thank everybody that's been part of the process so far, including the community, and helped us achieve some significant milestones, importantly in a safe and environmentally compliant way. We know we have more work to do, including the monitoring and maintenance of the work completed to date and resolving the water body filling strategy. And we will continue to keep the community informed as we move forward. As always, if you have any questions or feedback, please don't hesitate to reach out to myself or the Anglesey team. Until then, stay safe and stay well.